Hi everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day and if you're watching on a Sunday, I hope you're having an amazing Mother's Day. This week, I'm back in my bullet journal with a, another sort of rainbow spread. I did something very similar a few months ago and I really like how that turned out and because I started summer school this week, I wanted something a little bit more vertical so I can make more to-do lists. Um, I'm only taking one class for summer school this year. It's all online, of course, so I can't really say if it's easier or harder than before, but um, it's definitely a little bit different. So yeah, anyways, I'm just using my Sakura Koi watercolors to make little paint swatches and I really wanted the shades of the rainbow to be like a tropical color. I have my more expensive watercolors that I use for realism, but I find that whenever I want something like really bright and almost neon, um, my cheaper watercolors that are more meant for crafting is a lot better. Um, and I'm really happy with how all of these colors turned out. So after doing the swatches, I just used my Tombow Fidenoske brush pen in the hard tip to letter in the days of the weeks and I skipped Saturday and Sunday because I felt like the paint wasn't too dry. It's very important to let it dry first, so um, I letter that in later in the video. I also wrote down the actual dates underneath the swatches so um, I know exactly what I'm planning for and then underneath the date I drew in a little rectangle. Um, I do this for most of my vertical spreads. I just use it sort of as like a highlight of the day. I also want to mention that my writing in this video is just not very good. I have been working on customs for the past week and um, my wrists are a little bit messed up and I have kind of like a blister on my pinky where I like sort of rub on the drawing tablet so I don't know I'm just letting my hands rest a little bit but I was gripping my pen really weird and all of my writing was weird So after finishing up with the base of the week, I'm going to move on to the highlights. Monday was May the 4th, so I put down a Stormtrooper emoji, and I also um, posted like a Star Wars themed spread on Instagram on that day. For Tuesday, I put down a stack of books from Fox and Cactus to mark in... What did I mark in? I forgot. Oh yeah, I used it to mark in that I had to do a quiz, and then on Wednesday I put down a Winnie the Pooh emoji to mark in that I wanted to finish a bunch of customs. For Thursday, I put down this sort of tired emoji from the May freebie to mark in that I was feeling tired and stressed. And then on Friday, I put down a sadness sticker from Inside Out, um, also from my May freebie, to mark in that Friday was just not a very good day. And then for Saturday, I put down this push pin sticker from Baba Bear Studios to mark in that the shop was going to be reopening. Um, and then I took out my mal liners and I picked out some colors that I thought matched the heading really well. So I picked out a red and also a blue um, on Monday and Friday to mark in that I had my online lectures. We do like a video chat through Zoom, so um, I just have to make sure that I'm always online. And then after all of the highlights are done, I go into each day and fill out the to-do list. Um, so underneath the to-do list for Monday, I put down this sort of cloud emoji to mark in that I wanted to sleep early on Monday. And then moving on to Tuesday, I put down a get crafty emoji. This one is one of my favorite stickers. Uh, just to mark in that I wanted to do the Mother's Day free printable for the Facebook group. I'm sure most of you already have cards for Mother's Day, but if you're looking for a Mother's Day card still, I put up a free printable yesterday in the Facebook group if you're interested. Then moving on to Wednesday, I put down two of these foiled teardrop stickers from The Giving Girl to mark in that I wanted to edit some photos for Instagram and also Facebook. I really like editing photos, but they take quite a while, so I always have to block off a chunk of time and I edit a bunch of photos at the same time. Uh, then I put down a circle phone sticker from The Planning World to mark in that I wanted to call a DHL. And then I thought it was about time Saturday and Sunday were dried, so I just lettered in Saturday and Sunday. For Sunday, of course, it's Mother's Day, so I just put down a flower emoji sticker from my shop. Then moving back to Thursday, I've had done a um, label sticker from Two Little Bees along with a unicorn working sticker to mark in um, that I wanted to finish up a bunch of customs. 
and then of course I just finished up my to-do list and because I had some more homework to do I put down a foiled hexagon sticker from Rose Colored Days and I layered on top my homework script sticker from my shop this is just the one that I hand lettered and then moving on to Friday once again I'm doing another to-do list so yeah, that's basically it for this spread. Um, once again, my lettering was a little bit wonky in this video, but I hope you still enjoyed it. I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye everyone!